Is there anything I can do for you, monsieur? No. No, no. Yes, monsieur? Just looking around. Why should we lie to each other? It's wonderful. Let's be honest. Have we anything like it in Russia? No. 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 Yeah. Can you imagine what the beds would be in a hotel like that? They tell me when you're in once, the valet comes in. When you're in twice, you get a waiter. And do you know what happens when you're in three times? A maid comes in. A French maid. Comrades, if we ring nine times, let's go in. Hey, just a minute, just a minute. I have nothing against the idea, but I still say, let's go back to the hotel terminals. Moscow made our reservation there. We are on an official mission, and we have no right to change the orders of our superiors. Where's your courage, comrade Volyanov? Are you the Volyanov who fought on the barricades? And now you are afraid to take a room with a bat? I don't want to go to Siberia. And I don't want to go to the hotel terminals. And I don't want to go to... Oh, I told you so many... No, no. No. Oh, no. oh, listen to me. Look, 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 Bulyanov. If Lenin were alive, he would say, Bulyanov, comrade, for once in your life you were in Paris. Don't be a fool. Go in there and drink three times. He wouldn't say that. What he would say is, Bulyanov, you can't afford to live in a cheap hotel. Does the prestige of the Bolsheviks mean anything to you? Do you want to live in a hotel where you press for the hot water and cold water comes? And when you press for the cold water, nothing comes at all. Fui, Bulyanov. I still say our place is for the common people. But who am I to contradict Lenin? Let's go in. <laughs> Are you the manager? Yes, monsieur. Pardon me for introducing Comrade Ironov, member of the Russian Board of Trade. Monsieur. This is Comrade Kopalski. Monsieur. And I'm Comrade Polyanov. Monsieur. May I ask you how much your rooms are? Well, gentlemen, I'm afraid our rates are rather high. Why should you be afraid? <laughs> well, I might be able to accommodate you. Uh, is there some more luggage? Oh, yes. But have you a safe big enough to hold this? Uh, I'm afraid we have no boxes of that size in the vault, but there's a suite with a private safe. That's even better. But, gentlemen, I'm afraid. And he's always afraid. <laughs> I just wanted to explain. The apartment may suit your convenience, but I doubt whether it'll fit your convictions. It's the royal suite. Royal suite? Oh, just a minute. Comrades, I warn you. If it gets out of Moscow that we stay in the Royal Suite, we'll get into terrible trouble. We just tell him we had to do it on account of the safe. That's a perfect excuse. There was no other safe big enough. That's right. That's, That's right. right. That's yes. right. <laughs> but of course, we could take out the pieces and distribute them in three or four boxes in the vault and take a small room. That's an idea, isn't it? Yes, that's an idea. But who said we have to have an idea? That's right. That's right. <laughs>